Hiring an assistant is one of the best decisions I've made in the last couple of years to improve my quality of life and to save me time in my business. In this video, I'm going to explain how I used Text Expander to onboard and train my assistant on how to manage and respond to emails as me using my language and tone of voice. Hello, my name is Paul Miners and welcome back to another one of our productivity training videos. Now, Text Expander is a tool I've talked about numerous times in videos on this channel. It's actually a tool I've been using for the better part of 10 years. It's now actually a tool I could not live without. Now, what Text Expander allows you to do is store text in the application, which you can later retrieve or expand into a document, a note, or an email using a little abbreviation. So this is great for things like email templates. You could be typing an email in Apple Mail, Gmail, Outlook, anywhere that you can type text. You type that little snippet, and then Text Expander expands the pre-saved text or email template that you have saved. So we use this all the time for email templates, sharing Calendly booking links, payment links, uh, even affiliate links. I have a lot of shorthand expressions and phrases I like to use when writing emails. So even if you don't plan on using Text Expander with an assistant, it's a tool that I really encourage people to learn how to use because it can save you so much time. And we will link up here our Getting Started with Text Expander video. So if you have never seen this tool before, definitely start with that one first. And uh, actually, I wasn't planning on doing this, but let me quickly show you a report that shows you just how much time Text Expander saves me. Here are the statistics from my personal Text Expander account. Now, based on an average words per minute typing speed of 50, and this is since the start of the year, we're about mid-April now, I've saved about 16 and a half hours. Now, I don't know about you, but that's pretty good considering these are emails or text I would have to type anyway to basically get back 16 and a half hours by using a tool like Text Expander, that is a very tangible benefit. That's 16 hours I can now put towards other things. And this is just me. This is not actually even looking at my assistant, Charmaine, who is now using Text Expander a lot more. So if you implement Text Expander just for yourself or in your business, there is some real time-saving benefits that you can unlock here. Okay. Getting back on track, so Text Expander is a very powerful time-saving tool and it gets even more useful and the, the ROI really compounds when you start using it with more people on your team. You could use it with your sales team. If you've got your sales team sending follow-up emails and you want them using the correct language and call to action, you could have email snippets in Text Expander that they're allowed to use. Um, we've also used it for things like customer support. If we are responding to a support ticket or inquiry, we can have saved templates that we like to use. And as I said earlier, Text Expander is a tool that I've used with my assistant because when I was hiring my assistant, you know, I wanted to get someone who could manage my email and actually respond to emails as me, which is a bit of a challenge really, because how do you teach someone how to write like you using your tone of voice and the language that you like to use. You want the emails to sound authentic. So this is where we used Text Expander. For example, here is a snippet for an email template that we use almost every single day. This is an email that we send when somebody reaches out to us to ask about uh, Asana or Pipedrive Consulting. We ask them to book a call with us. And so here is the snippet. And you can see we've customized this snippet with fill-ins like uh, the person's name. You know, when we respond to the email, we want to fill in their name. And then we have some optional sections here. Uh, we reply with different text depending on the service that they are inquiring about. And then we have different calls to action and different links that we use depending on, again, the service that they are asking about. So this is one of the great things about Text Expander is we can have quite dynamic um, snippets with different drop down fields and options that we can choose when expanding the text. So that's a snippet that I've already created and I was using by myself. And so when it came to onboarding Charmaine, my assistant, uh, the first thing to do was I invited her to my Text Expander account so we can see her in here. And then you can share the different snippet groups with whoever you want. 
So again, if I go back to Text Expander, you can see on the left in our organization, we have different folders for like ConvertKit snippets, emails, links, uh, different shorthand phrases and so on. And so I've gone into my settings and I've said for this emails group, I've shared this with Charmaine. And the nice thing about Text Expander is you can have different sharing options. So I could, if I wanted to, just allow Charmaine to use the snippets and expand them. I've actually chosen to give, in, give her edit permissions because often we are tweaking and changing the snippets and actually she's doing that more herself now. So she's actually allowed to, to make those changes um, if she needs to. And so now Charmaine has access to all my snippets that I've already created in her account and she can use these from anywhere. So if she's writing an email, she can type the abbreviation semicolon intro and you can see it, it brings up the expansion window here. We can type in the person's name. So let's just say Jason. We can turn on or off different conditional sections. We can choose from drop down menus and choose the correct link. And then we can spit out that piece of text. And I actually spoke to Charmaine this morning. Uh, I said, I'm gonna be making this video. And I asked her, you know, when I was onboarding you and training you, what was your reaction to Text Expander? You know, when you, when you first saw it, did it help you? And she said, oh, without a doubt, the best thing for her is that it removed all the guesswork. She didn't have to, you know, when she got an email, she didn't have to think about what do I say or how shall I respond? She also didn't have to go to a separate like Google Doc or Note to go and find an email template. She just had the app downloaded on her computer. She wrote out the snippet and it just spit out the text of exactly what Paul would have said. And so she found that she was able to learn our new processes and, and get comfortable with responding to emails very quickly. Now, to make that process of training Charmaine on how to use Text Expander that much easier, I actually built instructions on how to use Text Expander into our SOP or Standard Operating Procedure. And this is something I've talked about again on, on recent videos. Uh, we'll link up here how I use SOPs in my business. But we have this document and this is um, essentially my instruction manual for Charmaine that explains how to complete certain tasks. Not just responding to emails, but how to schedule appointments on my calendar, how to deal with administrative tasks, charging customers, getting contracts signed, everything she needs to do. And throughout this document, I tell her when to use specific text expander snippets. So firstly, at the very top of this document, there's a section using this document. And the very first thing I say is throughout this document, uh, we use Text Expander for a lot of email templates and links. And I highlight in orange like this when to use a particular Text Expander snippet. So you'll see down here, for example, here are the Calendly links to use when booking myself or one of our team for an introductory call. So we've got the links in here, but we also have the abbreviations in orange that show uh, what snippets she can use from Text Expander to sh generate these links. Further down, uh, we've got even more booking links here in Calendly. We've got uh, actually a lot of Calendly links. Um, and then down here, we've got things like um, this shorthand expression that we like to use. You know, this is Charmaine, Paul's assistant. I got to this email before he did. So this is a, a snippet she can retrieve using the semicolon EA uh, abbreviation. We also use the PDBCC snippet to BCC emails into our CRM pipe drive. Um, and so you can see throughout this document, we reference quite a lot of snippets that we use, which are going to save Charmaine time. The other major benefit of using a tool like Text Expander is that it makes it really difficult for Charmaine to make a mistake because she just follows the instructions in our SOP. She can generate and share the links that we need to without having to copy and paste them where there's always the likelihood you might copy the wrong thing. Um, she's using the correct email templates. She's not having to think about what to say or possibly say the wrong thing. So training her was a lot quicker. There were fewer mistakes and I was actually really impressed with how quickly she caught up and got comfortable with our processes. And I think that is in very large part due to Text Expander. The other thing that's really handy is Charmaine could be following this process and you know she uses this semicolon intro snippet here, which is actually the one I showed you before. And if I want to, I can come in here and I can update this snippet. 
If I want to change the wording or change one of these links, I can make that update on my side. Charmaine gets this automatically shared with her, synced to her account. She may not even know that it's been updated. And the next time she uses it, she gets that updated version. And so what's great now is Charmaine is comfortable using Text Expander and she can really run with it. So she is very active about uh, updating snippets or creating new ones when she finds opportunities to do so. And this results in her making little to no mistakes because she's just using the snippets. She's able to save me time because she can respond to my emails and I have the confidence that they're gonna sound good. And it's saving her time because she's not having to type things out manually. She can share links and things very quickly. And so as a business, we are a lot more productive. As a business owner who's obviously trying to grow their business, I find more and more that my job is to put really good tools and systems in place that allow my team to do a really good job. And Text Expander is the perfect example of that. By using it, we make fewer mistakes, we are more consistent, and we save time. I should have said at the start, this is a sponsored video, um, and when they approached me recently to make more videos with me, because we've done some before, I instantly said yes, because it's a tool I've used for, as I said, going on 10 years now, and it saved me so much time that uh, I'm happy to talk about it and share my experience. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, leave me a comment down below. And if you'd like to sign up for Text Expander, please use our link in the description. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.